supposed to work together. I was a high school special ed teacher for 20 years. Just look around at each other for a second. And notice how you can't help but kind of smile when you do that. So a lot of what I'm going to take you through today ideally creates a lot of energy. Come on up a little bit. Like, come on. Like, look around. So you have your own space. So notice that you actually want you to have enough space that you would not hit somebody if you spun your, spun your arms around like that. Come on up, come on up. There's a lot of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come up more, come up more. Come up more, come up more. And then you all, come on, come on. Come on. There's kind of a lot of space. So I know that she told you this is yoga. I know that I know that you heard that this was going to be about yoga, right? I've taught yoga, I've taught breathing, I've taught meditation for almost 20 years too. I didn't teach that in school. I just teach it now separate from the school, the school setting. But um, really, all of it comes into breathing. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to take you through today is going to show you a way to really be connected to your breath. And I want to give you this perspective first. It's almost like there's three characters happening all the time. Right? You are the primary character. It's almost like you're on a couch in your own little home with these two other characters that are also you. There's the main you. There's also your thoughts. We're the same whole living environment a lot more smooth and easy. So anything you're doing, if you can remember your breath, it changes everything, almost immediately. And there's one really fast way to do it. I'm gonna show you that first. Does this sound good? But I'm gonna first have you shake your body a little bit. So, and understanding of why how do you do this first. So you notice that your body can really relax into the balance. You don't have to put a lot of effort in this. So just notice that your arms can hang like ropes just by your sides. You can go foot to foot. So the one thing that will immediately bring you into this immediate like relaxation and presence in your body is what I call a one breath break. And I'm going to show you a lot of other breaths that will also make you feel something. But this one breath break is like this. We'll take a breath in, kind of a full breath, and I'm going to have you hold the top of the breath for five seconds. And then we'll breathe out like a sigh. And I want you to stay there until your body needs to breathe. And I want you to pay attention to how your breathing feels after you've done that one breath break. Cool? Okay, so together, let's exhale, knee there. Breathe in through your nose till you feel full. Good, hold the breath at the top, relax into it. Four, three, two, one, open your mouth and Good, stop the movement of your breath and hold your breath. Relax your body into that hold. Wait until you need to breathe. And then instead of gasping for air, let your breath come back in smoothly. You are in control. So you are the driver of this vehicle of breath and body movement right now. If you feel something, a sensation that feels uncomfortable, whether that's physical, like tingling in your fingers or in your head, that means that you may be pushing too hard. You don't need to push, right? You just need to let the breath move, kind of like a wheel. And if you think about a wheel, it doesn't start and then stop when we're on, when we're in motion and driving, right? The wheel keeps turning. So this is where we have these two sides of I don't know how much you all have learned in your science class about the nervous system, the autonomic nervous system. There's two branches to it. There's that which is really awake and engaged with the world, and that which is really relaxed and set back. That makes sense because in the light hours and the day hours, we're in the world, you're at school.